Good morning, folks. Today is June 9th, 2020. It's 7.37 my time, just seven minutes after the opening bell. And I'm going to go ahead and set my buy order, set up that conditional order. I'm going to trade three. Buy, I'm going to do it for the day. Firm, make sure that I'm doing the right thing here. Upper band, it's set, ready to go. I'm going to go get me a uh, cup of coffee, guys. Seems like we're getting close for a signal here. It doesn't look like we're going to get a signal here. It's got two points to go. Well, actually, I said that, and then and then it does that. It's not going to do it. we got to wait for another hour. Uh-oh, it went ahead, but I don't like it here. So I think I just found a glitch. Um, that is very interesting. Um, I queued up my buy order to buy three contracts if it closed above that upper band and it executed and even though it didn't close so that's that's worrisome let me queue up my order again so send let's see what happens here i don't like it that's not cool guys not cool i don't know what's happening here Alrighty, guys um there's definitely something wrong here um i queued up my order i'm sure i'm not sure if i recorded that but i queued up my order again after that first mistake and it went through and i made 75 cents um per contract uh three three ticks essentially wasn't enough to cover uh, commission fees so basically uh, today my total loss is somewhere around 50 60 dollars off of technical difficulties um, which you know it, for the here and now it's not that big of a deal but long term wise it is a big issue so I'm having some issues here I did um, I'm on hold right now with TD Ameritrade hope, hoping that somebody um, can take a look at this for me and then I also put in a live support um, ticket here ideas here sure um, you can add a once per bar declaration where it only calculates that after the after that bar is completed forming okay. so if you wanted to avoid having that kind of intra bar condition mm -hmm. meeting like that okay that would be one way to do it do you guys offer um, any support uh, for that? I happen to be one of the people who does scripting. Oh, cool. So give me a second sure. here, and I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you some ideas here. Okay. Yeah, I can show you how to add them as well. Awesome. I would greatly appreciate that. Yeah, gotcha. Perfect. Alrighty, gotcha. That makes sense to me. Thank you so much. I, I greatly appreciate your time and your knowledge. I, I really do. Appreciate you calling in. You have a good day, okay? Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. I'm, I'm going to have to redo my scripts, work on them. Let's see if I get executed here, though, now that I have it uh, mocked up here, queued up. Let's see what happens. Alrighty, we're in. Okay, guys, I think I got it all figured out here. I have everything set up. I'm trying to sell two at 32, 22, and 25 cents, or if it closes below this band here. And I'm trying to sell one here if it closes below this band here. So we'll see where it goes from here. Oh, well, it seems to be going my direction. Uh, that's the good news. Um, again, I'm trying to sell at three two 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 twenty five well my patience is definitely being tested here my goodness um i was up quite a bit uh, you know but a decent amount um even after my screw up my mess of a glitch here i was up and i'm up just a little bit right now but um roller coaster of a ride went up got as high as 32 1950 it came back down i was down a bit and now I'm up a little bit. It's trying to make a push here. Let's see if we can get to 32.22. It's going to try again here for a push. Come on, baby. Come on. We can do this. 
Literally, guys, the market just closed five minutes ago. It went down quite a bit, almost stopped me out. I'm still in this. I'm even for this trade. Um, down three. Oh, I'm up three dollars and seventy five cents. Down fifteen dollars for the day because of that darn uh, hiccup. But I am still in this. Alrighty, guys, it is 6.58 my time, June 9th, 2020, and it's going again for it. Going again for it. Let's see if we can get sold at 32.22.25. We are two points away. Two points away. Let's see if she can do it. She wants to go for it. High is 32.20. There we go. Got a new high there. Come on. Come on, come on. She can do it. Two points away. She's going to break out here. Arr! This is the most frustrating thing about trading is watching this live. She's going for it again. We're there. We're almost there. One point. 50 more cents. 50 more cents. Two more ticks. Two more ticks. I got executed. I got executed, people. I got executed. Heck yes. How awesome is that? I have my break even point for that last one, 32.11.25 stop order. And then, or if it closes below that lower band. So I'm going to confirm and send stop, stop, market. Okay, confirm and send. I don't want to screw this up. Perfect. It's working. It's working, y'all awesome guys this is awesome i'm so excited i'm so excited patience paid off paid off in a huge 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 way what's going on y'all today is june the 10th 2020 it's the next day after uh that trade and i wanted to show you guys what ended up happening with that last contract i ended up selling at break even it sold me out right at the exact same price that i bought in at 32 11 25 let me show you those trades guys if you remember correctly i got myself into sort of that hiccup if you will um this is i bought two other ones so uh, yeah i bought um three at 32 11 sold them at 3209 lost two points bought again testing it out made 75 cents not enough to cover the commission. So overall, um, between the glitch and the screw up, I lost 50, $55. And then this is the actual trade right here. Bought three at 32.11.25, sold one at 32.22.25, and then sold that last one for break even 32.11.25. That's absolutely a okay. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate in the comment as to why I didn't sell way up here it got as high as 32 27 25 i was sitting pretty but uh, that's absolutely a-okay i will take that all day long for the opportunity of making more money that is how you make more money guys do not cap your winners um, you have to manage that trade manage that risk manage your money um, and i'm a-okay again for breaking even on that last half in hopes that it just continues going we never know how high it can go remember that how do you take advantage of that by just leaving a little bit on the table i'm only trading two three contracts anyways um so that last one we're good guys so thank you everybody so much for watching today's trading video i greatly appreciate it a couple of things it's one of my most satisfying trades that i've made in quite some time shows uh that you know i i got this i don't need to change a single thing for my strategy my methodology the uh, my target prices they're all in line it's great it feels good to finally have something really solid rock solid I, i'm gonna get into some bad trades that's the inevitable um that's part of the game so Thank you everybody so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Like and share my videos. And also comment down below what you think about my trading strategy, about my trading in general, about today's trade. See you guys here next time.